What's up, data people? My name is Matthew Heffron, and today we're going to talk about models in Metabase. So, what is a model? Let me give you a use case. Say there's a marketing team, and they just ran a campaign, and they collected a bunch of data, but they don't know what to do with that data. They don't know how to do analysis on that data. So, what you can do is you can come in, you can clean up that data, you can join it, you can hide certain columns, and you can create a model for them so they can just start answering their own questions. So let's see how we would go ahead and do this. So we'll go to this YouTube tutorials, and you can see I currently have a question that is just the orders and people table. And we're gonna pretend this is our super messy campaign data. And so what we can do is we can like start looking at this data, start joining it, start getting familiar with it, slicing and dicing it, visualizing it. And then once we have like a good understanding of what we want to create, we can come over here to this drop down caret and we can click on these three blocks and say, turn this into a model. Here's a couple bullet points you can read. And then you can say, let's go ahead and turn this into a model. So one thing about models I think is really cool is just being able to customize the metadata. So if I go to customize metadata here, you can see like I can click user ID and you can see that the column type is a foreign key. There's a nice description. You can give it, you know, user ID, you can rename it. Let's go ahead and click this. So you can see that they have common column types you have all these different types you can select here. So this really can get the data cleaned up. So instead of the user saying, wait, what is this column? They can just look at the description and they don't have to bug you. So I think the metadata is really cool behind models. If you go to the query, you can also come into the query and then you can create custom columns. So maybe you wanna join first name and last names together, things like that. You can do that. You can join additional tables. If you come over here to orders, we can hide, uncheck different things to hide it and really get this data cleaned up and packaged so the user can start doing their analysis. So I hope that helps, tells you a little bit about models. If these videos are helpful, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.